participated in my first ever play, Cristela. <laughs> Tell me about that. First, this is a big deal because I grew up doing plays too, so I want to know all about it. What was the play? Tell me all about it. Yes, so it happens to be a inclusive play. That means that it's those with and without intellectual disabilities, and it's the production of Frozen, if you are a fan of the yes. animated Let it go. <laughs> yes. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> You know, to me, like what I love about this is the inclusion part of it and actually realizing that we can all be represented and it's important yeah. to be represented and see ourselves up on stage and in movies and TV shows, everything, because that's how you see that we're all connected and we're all alike. So I, I wanted to ask you, can you think of a time that you felt like you were represented? Like it may be in like a, an animated movie, a TV show, anything like that. Like what was that moment that you thought, oh, I feel seen? When I first saw Finding Nemo, one of my absolute favorite Pixar films ever. Why Finding Nemo? What was that thing? Because Nemo had a little fin and so, because I have cerebral palsy, I'm paralyzed on my left hand. That means my left hand doesn't work like my right hand. Like, right fin doesn't work the same way as his left fin. I told my mom and dad when we first saw Funny Nemo as a three-year-old, told them that Nemo has a little fin like me. I told people from that day on, they called my little hand, my little fin. That's how I felt connected to a film. I love that because it was something that you connected with. You connected with a story of Nemo just being Nemo. I think it's so important that we talk about that. This is powerful to experience. When you see yourself represented on a bigger scale, you feel seen and valued. It can be empowerment and increase your confidence. You know what else? Others are able to learn about those who are different. They can eliminate biases and gain fresh perspectives. 